In today's news, Osram solves an 85-year-old lighting mystery. A new report says that Flickr is back and it's worse than ever. And Lux unveils a brand new conference for the fall. Lux Today is brought to you in association with GUI and it starts in just a moment, so stick around. Hello and welcome to Lux Today for May 24th. I'm Courtney Ferguson. German lighting giant Osram says it has solved a color problem with LEDs that has baffled scientists for 85 years. The killer question is, why does the same light from two different LED light sources, which are measured to be exactly the same, look different? The problem of color perception differing from the actual color measurement of different lighting sources has been well known to scientists for decades. It often occurs when there are several LED white light sources in the same space, such as spotlights, wall washers, and downlights. The company says it used physiological research into how human eyes perceive color to crack the problem. It uncovered that a key assumption was incorrect. There was a presupposition that the blue, green, and red cones in the eye, which are responsible for color perception, are evenly distributed and that color perception over various viewing angles is constant. But in reality, this is not the case, and pigment density varies significantly over the field of view's size. Osram has now developed a new technique of sorting LEDs called ten binning, which it says eliminates disturbances in physiological color perception between different light sources. One problem that we thought we had got rid of is flicker. The rapid variation in lighting can cause headaches and lead to absenteeism. But a new report by the Society of Light and Lighting says flicker is back and it's worse than ever. Researchers found that half of domestic and office LEDs had higher flicker rates than alternative sources. These lights imperceptibly or noticeably flicker more than alternative technologies. The SLL says this needs to be taken into account by designers who should choose LEDs with lower flicker rates or avoid using them in public places where they may contribute to adverse health symptoms in a very small number of those regularly exposed. However, buying expensive LED brands may not solve the problem. The researchers found that the cost was shown to have no significant impact on flicker. Finally today, Lux has announced a special conference on lighting for logistics and warehouses. The event, which takes place in Amsterdam, Holland in September, will explore how the right warehouse lighting can transform safety, productivity, and well-being. It will also look at the role lighting can play in connecting the facility to the Internet of Things. That's all from us at Lux Today. Today's newscast was brought to you by GUI, the IoT lighting people. Remember, you can get all the latest lighting news globally, 24 hours a day, at luxreview.com. I'm Courtney Ferguson for Lux Today. We'll see you back here at the same time next week.